Welcome to Golden Carnivore in Thailand. I'm here in the pool. It's gotten a little cloudy. And uh, I've done my exercise, been here for almost a couple hours already. And so I decided I'd make this quick video. And today might be a quick video. Uh, what are we gonna talk about today? Well, life on a carnivore lifestyle is pretty boring when you eat mostly steak and then more steak. Noi has been having steak and beef. She buys this beef, which I don't know why, but she likes to uh, put it in the pressure cooker and cook it in the pressure cooker and eat this beef. Last night, she actually ate a bowl of green beans. Or I'm sorry, not green beans, peas. Green peas. So she had a bowl of peas and uh, checked her blood sugar. And last night it got a little low. So she had some a banana, I think to uh, boost it up a little bit. When she woke up this morning, after about an hour, she checked her blood sugar and it was at like 104, I think, which is fine. You know, it's not under 70, it's not hypoglycemic. And she's really tuning her mind into feeling her blood glucose level and knowing what it is. Because before we take it, she's actually sometimes saying, I think it's low, or I feel tired, so it's probably low. Uh, sometimes I force her to take it by asking her, please take it. I say force, but I uh, coerce her into taking it out of caring. So sometimes she'll, she'll do okay, but I'm telling you, I feel good. My blood sugar is good. And a lot of times she's right. But th the point of it is I, I uh, got a lot of test strips. So if we know that's a problem for her, make her in tune with the way she feels. Uh, make her uh, realize what's going on there. Uh, by the way, we had to call the lab because we never did get the results of her insulin test. And they promptly said, oh, well, we'll email them out again. <laughs> like the email broke. Mm. My dog ate my homework. So they emailed them out and her uh, insulin level is right dead smack in the middle of what they call the high and low range to have. So her insulin level's good. Why her blood glucose level, which is tied to insulin, and I'm no, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, I'm a doctor of know-it-all, and and a, a avid researcher on the internet. Speaking of that, let me give you a clue. I have been very deep into using the AI program since it came out. Since ChatGPT first was a thing, I've tried them all. And lately I've been trying one from a tropic, anth anthropic, uh, called Claude. And man, is it good. I mean, it is really, really good what it can do. Uh, I think I like that better than any of them. Although I also use in my everyday life, I, I, I signed up and I, I pay the $20 for Microsoft Copilot, which gives you a little AI in almost all of your programs, including your Outlook, including your Excel, including more importantly, excuse me, in uh, Copilot in your browser, especially if you use the Bing search engine. You can get Copilot results, which are, are really good for 
basically it's a much more intelligent search. And I'm sure that's what Google is going to try to come out with with their latest Gemini release. Now, they just had a big uh, show on what Gemini's going to be able to do and what it's doing. But the thing about Google is, seems to me they make a lot of announcements and they say it's coming, but it never ever gets here and they just sort of forget they made the announcement, you know. Then they come out with a new announcement. They say, well, we got Gemini improved and it's coming. And then maybe it does, maybe it don't, you know. I've never been a huge fan of Google. Well, it's starting to rain on me here. Uh, drip, 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 which I'm already wet. I don't care. But thank you very much for listening and uh, hope you learned a little something. Y'all have a great day. That's all, folks.